Okay. All right. The tears. The last one of the series. And Mike's right. He's got to die by the end of this. So, <laughs> so uh, Mike has bumped his characters up. So I'm going to pop open the windows. You talk about their new, if there is new, with any one of these guys. Sure. So start with Jimmy Pike. Go ahead. Give us the rundown. Yeah. What's going on okay. here? Um, we bumped him up to level six. Um, I maxed out all the characters' hit points because I know John. Um, yeah, so that's smart. Yes, we maxed them out. Now, at level four, in the world of four, I didn't realize that White Star said that you got an extra skill. So what I did is I added um, that to his interaction skill. So that bumped his interaction skill up a little bit. And beyond that, oh, and also his, um, his base hit bonus went up and his saving throws went down. But beyond that, there's really not much different from where we were. So, I mean... He's as an aristocrat, he only again only has 21 hit points. It's even at level six, he's he's kind of tender and he only has a plus two to hit. Oh, that's it, just a plus two. Okay, well, that's his base on it because his dex is 10, his strength is eight. I mean, as far as stats go, he has a 17 charisma, but beyond that, it's you know, that's Jimmy Pike, he's an aristocrat, (laughs) and um, he's he doesn't got much more. Um, uh, he can he can talk, but he can't walk the walk. Um, that's good. That works. All right. Yeah, it's going to work for Otis. Let's stick Otis in the window. All right. Here we go. Otis. All right. Otis is okay. the alien brute. That's also a wolfling. Now, Otis went up to level six. Now, he is the heavy here. He's at 37 hit points. Um, his saving throws went down to eight. His strength is 17 plus one. Um, but what is this? Why is it? What's the six? Three plus six. What's you, this all you did that. I'm not sure. That's I don't know either. Okay. Whatever. That, I that just was, it, um, okay. But, but the, the big thing here with him is that um, plus I mean, he's, five. Okay. He's cool. got plus five because he, because he has his base hit bonus of plus four um, as, and then he has a plus one strength. And then for his laser rifle, he doesn't get the plus one because that's because that's that's that's. Ah, but he gotcha. also gets plus one when he's fighting with a pack. Then I didn't add that in there. So occasionally, if he's fighting and someone's you know within thirty feet of him, he can add plus one, keen sense. Um, but basically, that that BHB plus four is huge, and of course he can bite and yeah, snar- but, that's cool. Now the one thing that I did do um, is I took back my nine grenades that I lost. So he now has he basically has a bandolier pack that has eleven energy cells because it holds twenty and nine grenades. So just to let you okay. know he he does have his grenades back, concussion frags and eon grenades. Anyway, so he's um yeah he is he is he is ready to roll. Nice. All right, let's take a look at old Pepper. Pepper. Or, Pepper is young the, Pepper. Yeah, Pepper is the Brimling um, pilot. Um, so the so again that because I they get plus one to a skill at level four, I did that to navigation, so that kicked that up. But the interesting thing with the Pepper is, man, he's a fighting little beast. He's got a laser pistol, the the Eon pistol, um, his plasma sword, and monitor. But the, he's got a plus six to hit with the laser pistols and the Ion pistols because of his Dex bonus and his B- bhb is plus two and as a brimling he gets plus two to his um his uh ranged weapons the other thing which i haven't been doing i have a plus a, four with the plasma sword how does he have such a high hit with those oh the plasma sword is oh that is a damn good question the uh the dex oh because his basic no his basic bonus is only plus two somebody get the extra plus three there that is a good yeah no maybe no so he shouldn't have that i'm sorry you're right because he doesn't have the strength bonus yeah that's an error so what's should... okay so what's his hit what's his with the laser pistol again plus what with the laser pistol he has a plus two for his decks he's uh-huh. got um the plus two for its uh, uh base hit bonus and then he gets plus two with ranged weapons i guess because gremlins and okay. halflings get plus two with that okay right, and so then so. also he has his fight like a pirate so if he's fighting next to somebody else he gets another plus one it's all written down here also hmm. is a lucky bugger he gets to re-roll one uh he gets a minus two to his ac oh no his bhb is plus three okay was that what it did no that still wouldn't have done it weird mm-hmm. yeah his bhb is plus is it's 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 plus three 
So oh, I understand the uh what the heck? Uh plus, oh, one, plus one, one range weapon. weapon. So it's plus just two plus for one. dexterity. That gives you plus three, plus three base. That's why that's plus six. That's six. why that's plus that's six. Plus six. This but one. that's but that shouldn't be. What yeah. should it be then? Three um, plus it should it should just be a plus three because he okay. doesn't have a um because he doesn't have a strength. He doesn't have a high right. strength. You'll track that. You're smart, right? Yeah, I just, guess I should just, write it down. Plus three. Wow. But again, but if he's fighting next to somebody else, then it's fight like a pirate. So he gets a plus one like the um Otis does if he's fighting next to somebody else. Okay. Well we're the other thing is um his space ace and his stick jockey thing. So when he's flying, he gets plus two initiatives, starship combat, and he gets to add plus one mm-hmm. two starship stats or plus two to any one of them. Um and then of course the jury rigging part. But yeah, he's 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 got a lot going on. Uh, but of course, what he really likes to do is um, fly the ship and uh, cook. That's what he really likes to do. Occasionally he's steal got, things. He yeah. has a lot of hit points. He's got thirty-one. Yeah. Um. I basically. I mean. Uh, again, I, I'm I, my job is to be open, honest, and transparent, and I just <clears> max <throat> them out. Okay. <laughs> well, no, I, I don't gonna, blame you. I I, you're gonna I said, need. Honestly, God, I told you go up. I, I wasn't playing. This could be horrible. I That's said, crazy. I said, what is the maximum hit points they possibly can? And I looked, and none oh. of them have constitution bonuses. And I'm like, crap, crap. No, you're fine. Right. You're fine. No, it's a good idea. This now, makes hope, it a lot. The maximum hope could be is level four because robot's gonna go like go up to level four. Yeah. But at level four, she gets another skill. So I put that onto her technology. So okay. really, um, the only thing changed here is that her hit points went up and her saving throws went down to nine or BHB because like, a, yeah, that one is a plus two. So that's why she's got the 1D20 plus three because of her okay. dex is plus one. But the cool thing about her is that as she's a repair bot, and if you scroll all the way down to your table down there, uh, down one more, her skills thing. For the tech, she can pretty much do the impossible if I roll a four or higher. There you go. So, I mean, that's that that that'll come in handy. That'll come in handy. She can do the hard stuff if that happens. Yes, but that's where I that's where I put their plus one skills. I put it on whatever their their main one was, and I figured we'd go from there. Uh, all right, let's embark on. This new journey, Mike, I can't wait. Okay, so we're still in the Kelron sector, right? Uh, we have the planet Kaysen 17, right? Yes. We've been here. It's been our home um, base. That's your home base. Okay, so you uh, take a look at this. Of course, you know, Sonix is here. The Crystal Spire Resort, the Legion Fields are here. Um, just as a review of places we've been, right? So Solonix. <clears throat> yes. Calls you and he says, I, I got a really, really important job for you. He says, your, This is we're your team. This is very, very, very clandestine. Okay. And he says, um, this is um kind of like uh uh company espionage. I don't know how you guys feel about that. Uh, for you, we just yeah. call it regular work. Okay. All right. So <laughs> let me explain what's going on here. And yeah. you can get, you fill in, how's it going, right? There's a company, all right? Yeah. Um, you know, my company, of course, you're well informed, Solonix, Elk, Rex, and, um, mm-hmm. Shipmate. We build ships. This is something we do. Well, we got word of a different company trying something new. It's, um, uh, it's, uh, they're trying to find a way to, to actually get free energy. And sure. obviously, we want to kind of capitalize on that based on the fact we do make ships, right? So, yeah. so this company called New Energy, I'll show you what they look like. Um, they're creating a future that's bright and tree and safe, right? So, bright, free, safe. I, with the idea of free energy kind of scares us a little bit, I'll be honest with you. It's not something we like because, uh, you know, we, we also have money invested in the energy sector. So, what they've done is they found a planet, and the planet is um, one. Not far from here, okay? Um, just to kind of let you you see the planet itself. The planet is Roginus 67. It's way up here in this quadrant over here. Uh, the star bolt wouldn't have any problem getting there and coming back, all right? Uh, the planet is strange. It's a very, very hostile planet, okay? The planet itself, um, it's, it's a complete desert. 
exact it's filled with massive electrical storms and this company called new energy was trying its best to um find a way to actually harvest energy and they have been successful now the problem with this is that um they, they had a, a crew that was circumnavigating this company they actually built a special ship for this not from us somebody else in fact it's one of my competitors i got word of the entire thing oh, i mean it was a conference and i found out all about this and what bothered me was the fact that um i uh they cut me out gotcha and so um we had gotten word that the ship has gone down there okay. is several companies that are extremely interested in getting their data they've been doing scans of this planet for quite some time but they've been sitting in one locale kind of floating over it and it went down their technology used on their ship we don't even know what it is they it's been so dark shielded from everybody so we want you to kind of recover all the data you possibly can off the ship okay <clears throat> now the lead scientist um that kind of came up with the whole thing at new energy his name was a uh, nevis and he actually found that there's going to be a very, very small window of opportunity where the electrical dust storm is going to go basically dull for about three hours. Okay. So you have to get to the planet within that time. There's a lot of people interested in this free energy thing, and they'll, and they'll fight anybody, anything to get to it. So I'm just letting you know, you have to get there, get the data tapes, and get out of there and get back to me safely and um, obviously the, you know your your payment here is as we're talking is the star bolt you can have it it'd be your ship oh hey that's great um so question do you have any sort of information on this ship any sort of anything we could track when we get there it's called a Caruso. i don't know i mean from from what i can gather it's probably the only thing on that planet Okay. And that three three hour window shows up. You do a scan. I'm sure you there, I can't a scan cannot be made until the end of that thing. But it went down on that planet. Gotcha. So I'm sure if you did a scan, it would probably be very hard, almost impossible, even with the residual electricity there. But you should be able to scan and find it. It's yeah. the only thing that's going to be there. So gotcha. Yeah, makes that's, sense. It's kind of what you got going on. All right. So um, just want to make sure I reiterate, uh, get there, get the, uh, we, you want the, us to recur, recover the data um, from the ship, get it back to you and you'll give us the ship you've been loaning us. Um, yes. Uh, happy to, now I have to ask because um, Otis is um, going through a phase right now. Um, <laughs> Do you don't mind if we eliminate the competition? I mean, uh, let's put it this way. If someone ends up being on the surface with you when this happens yeah, and you take them out, I don't know when the next three hour low will be, Yeah, but that you cannot be on that planet when the sand starts flying, the gotcha. silicate, when it flies, it'll tear open spacesuits. So whatever is left on there, that's not in, I mean, Anything on the surface will be destroyed. And I'm hoping the Crusoe still is somewhat intact. I, I don't even know. We, we're kind of gaming that maybe it's not even there. It can be it can be shredded. I got you. I got you. But you so, so yeah, to... hopefully, I mean, whatever you leave on that planet, that's none of my whatever it takes to get I got you. I got just it. I just want to make sure we meet all your expectations. You're not yeah. you're not hoping on the on the um on the ship to come back. You just want the data from the ship. Gotcha. Yeah, forget Roger, about right. the just leave the ship. I don't care what yep. they, the data is going to have all the stuff for the ship on it, too. Yeah. All right. So I want to find out what they've been able to stay in low atmosphere around this planet because you got the scan from the surface, and I don't know. It'll be difficult, but oh, pretty much impossible to see anything, even after yeah. the sand stops to find out where to go. Okay. So just let you know. Oh, it, I just want, by the way, if you could, um, the, uh, the uh, cookware that your son sent us, Pepper Loves absolutely great and um i the bacon we tried to tell otis it's not real bacon but i, I don't know no he still loves it so i just want to let your son know oh. thank you very much we really appreciate it oh well yes i'm, I'm glad that that whole worked out he's yeah. he's been wanting to do that a snipe he said that it was pretty exciting for him 
Oh yeah. It, oh no, he was great. Yeah. He got a whole bunch more viewers after releasing that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Killed one. Is, well, excellent, so, excellent time. It's awesome. Yeah. Well, right. I guess you guys be off and you guys will go have your fun, right? So yeah, we're all right. right. So reviewing the Starbolt, this is what it is, and it's magnificence, right? Yes. So uh yeah, you get on it, it's pristine condition, right? Yes. Uh deck plans look beautiful, right? <laughs> and uh yeah, I mean it's, whenever there was that one fire, they cleaned it out, put new paneling in. It looks like oh. nothing ever happened. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Oh. So turns around and he's um you take off, no problem, right? Yep. I you don't have to roll for that. I mean, these yep. people are skilled warriors now. So you approach the planet, okay? So as you approach original 67, okay? And uh, you can see a thing like looming. And um, you try to like get any kind of scans at all. I mean, it it doesn't, I mean, the electrical thing just totally messes up the panel. Yeah. I mean, nothing's working. So much discharge. And you can actually see it. It looks like a giant aurora borealis just circumnavigating the entire globe of this planet, just sending all sorts of discharge. So you can't like, you can't imagine like how in the heck anybody could actually survive if they went down in this thing, right? Right. Um, so eventually things kind of settle exactly like he said. I mean, he gave you the corners and the time which you had to be there. So you showed up, you see this whole buzzing planet with all these clouds. It's like the clouds of Jupiter, everything flowing around, flowing around. All of a sudden, it just sort of just stops for one second. Mm. And you're like, wow, maybe this day is, this day is pretty good. Yeah. So at this point, you could actually try to scan. And yes. this, of course, would be uh, uh hope, hope, hope scan. Would do that, right? Yeah, yeah. So she would try to give a roll, see if she could identify anything. A two, what'd she have to roll? Is low good? Um, for scanning a higher, you have to scan. Oh, well, for <laughs> her, um, if what? it's a medium, oh, yeah, show fire. So <laughs> that a medium would do it. But yeah, that she has to get it. No, this is damn near impossible. There's been a four higher to pull anything off. This is okay. So this is this is an impossible, or this is. Oh yeah, this is because the electrical discharge on the planet it ruins all scans. Oh, you would have had it, but now she rolled a two. Yeah, because she sucks. Yeah, I was kidding. She sucks, but screw that one up. All right, so you don't even get scan. It says P scan, so you're not even gonna. You're not gonna see what that was. Well, can can Pepper try? What's his odds? For the impossible, yes. Uh, um, tech, you have to get a six. Six. <laughs> Good. You can get it. I don't know. Wow. Ah, no. it's, it's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> he must. Yeah. Got He's too busy looking at the cookware. He's yeah, not. I got nothing. Scanning anything. Okay, that's fine. All right. So yeah, yeah that's. Yeah. So you get like this. Uh, you don't get anything, but you do get the idea. It's just totally like. The wind settles. Everything's calmed down. Everything's kind of yeah. like so. You can more or less start cruising over the surface of the planet, right? Yeah. And so you're getting down closer, but you can't really get any kind of other than visual. You're not. You can't scan for anything that's metal, electromagnetic, anything like that. So you're just kind of going blind, weaving over the planet. Oh. And we're Pepper gonna roll. Says, yeah, Pepper says I got this. I okay. He's a lucky bugger. I got this. And so he's, you kind of you got a three hour window here. Yeah. So that's 180 minutes. And I'm going to okay. tell you how many minutes you're going to waste scanning over the top of this thing. All so right. I got a 3D6 and see how many minutes you spend yeah. looking for the Crusoe. So this will yeah. give you, this will put a crunch on you, right? Yeah. I'm going to push this button, Mike. There's no going yeah. back. No going back. 140 minutes. <laughs> there were 180 minutes. 180 minutes is three hours. You got 40 minutes to do this. All right. Oh, good God. Okay. okay. I'm going to put it. I'm going to actually put a timer on my yeah. phone. This Definitely. is in real time. You are going to yes. be in real time adventure here, Mike. And I'm sorry okay. if, if this ends very badly for you, I've tried my best. So uh, we're playing at night. So at 944, <laughs> this is going to suck. Uh, the storm and you guys will not survive the storm. So okay. death to all at that point. Yeah. There, yeah. there we go. So, you find the Crusoe, right? Yeah. You guys land, and this is what it looks like. It, it's totally calm right now. It's like, yeah, you know, barely any kind of haze. Yeah. The planet It's just a big sand drift type looking thing. It's kind of a mess, right? Yeah. You go over, and sure enough, you get the Crusoe. And um, getting this close, you can actually do a simple scan, and yep. you pull out, and this is the deck. And okay. you can tell the ship's been cracked in half, all right? Oh, hello. From what you could see. Yeah, it's been through something, right? Yep. 
Uh, you can obviously enter up through the back. You don't even have to yep. go through that. I think it's the only way you really can get into it, honestly. Yeah, yeah. we're going to get all geared up, um, our breathing masks and all that other stuff. I mean, get just – Yeah, the, the gas is still – the silicate's still out there. So yeah. if, it, if it kicks in, well, yeah, well, you got 40 minutes to do your job. Yeah, yeah we're – this is gonna be great. I mean, Jimmy's. I Jimmy's, can't Jimmy's, wait. Oh, jeez. Jimmy's Lord. actually right. saying we only got thirty minutes. We got thirty minutes. <laughs> and we we got to get out. We got this is a thirty minute scoot and boot. All right. So um, we are going to um land close, and mm -hmm. um, basically uh, head right into number. Now, one. How far are you gonna land from this thing? Um, well, as we're we're going to land 40 yards away. Okay, 40 yards. All right, cool. So so I'm going to put this up for one second, and um, it should make sense when I... And when we get All right, out, here we go. Huh? When we get out of the ship... Um, I don't want that. Hope, That's hope, is, hope, is, hope right. is going to be scanning for life signs. Oh, cool. All right, here we go. So uh, scanning for life. Mm -hmm. Well... Yeah. Okay. So we'll put this thing as the, the broken Caruso over here, right? Yep. It's kind of just sitting here like this, right? Yeah. So you say 40 yards away, yeah. 10, 20, 30, 40, that's about 40 yards away. Yeah. We're going to put the star bolt over here, right? So kind of does this, has this cool winging pattern that looks like this, right? This is your ship kind of thing. Kind of does this. Well, that's good enough, right? All right. Hope. You got to scan. Uh, yeah. At this range, it's still going to be a little hard, unfortunately. Yeah. The scan itself, let's see. Uh, oh, let's see what you got here. She's, she's, um, I think it's 60 feet. That's how far yeah. she can scan? Yeah. So 40 yards is 120 feet, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's going to be a hard scan. She's got to roll three or higher. All right. Because it still, this planet's very hostile. Nope. She God. is. Just, she is just. She's striking out, man. Okay, yeah. wait. So you get the idea of just sitting here that um, yeah. visually everything looks fine. There yeah. doesn't seem to be any problems. So you're approximately, you said 40 yards, 120 feet from yeah. this thing. Yeah. That's kind of tucked into the ground right here. Um, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to go halfway there and she's going to scan again. All right. All right. So when you guys get about here, yeah. okay, all right, scan it. Three. Three are better. That's it. That's cool. You guys are surrounded by a dozen, it appears, objects that are kind of moving. And I'll write them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They are animals of some form. Uh, let her scan again, and maybe you can get a better draw kind of what they are. Yeah, mm. yeah, it shows up in the database. Uh oh, yep. So, it, the creature looks like this. It's a skitter shock. Yeah. Uh huh. Skitter shock. Here. Light them up. Skitter um, shocks. And this is the information they pull off each one of them. Goodness gracious! <laughs> All right. Um. Well. Um. <laughs> Jesus. Look. So. Um. <laughs> <laughs> she says skitter shocks and six that way, six the other way, and immediately, um, yeah, we're going to we're going to uh, we're going to attack. Okay, so um, so I gotta get the one twenty out of my way here because yeah, I don't need that. the one the one twenty okay. out of your way. It's like All a right. dozen of these things. Okay, so the so the group that the ones that are two of the south seem like their group the better better. Well, I tell you what, what what we're gonna do is first, um, we're gonna clean up one side. So, um, roll for initiative. Yeah, initiative time. <laughs> Five. Ah, nice roll. Finally. Two. All right. Okay. Buddy. All right. Now, now you can make your giant plans. Yes. All right. So, um. Pepper with his 18 dexterity is going to fire um, twice with uh, his uh, laser pistols because, yeah, he's ready to fire two. And um, he is going to fire um, 
twice onto number seven. Twice onto seven? Yeah. Okay. Roll for it. All right. And I believe he's got he's got a plus six, so nobody else is sorry, so that's what he's got. Damn. So this best score right there would be a fourteen. I don't know if that even hit. That that's gonna miss. Fourteen misses? Yeah. All right. That's gonna be rough. Yeah, that's gonna be rough. Okay. All right. Um Otis is going to throw his um frag grenade a little bit behind number nine and he's gonna try to catch eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve with a frag grenade. Okay. That's what Otis is going to do. Um what's his range on his throw? That is a damn good question. Let's see, did I write that down? I didn't write down range for that. Um, what is the range on a gun? I mean, uh, I gotta look it up. One second. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I'm sorry, oh. I didn't write that the laser rifle is 200 feet, and the other that's rifle... gonna be fine. That too. Yeah. That, that's fine. I yeah. This may be out of reach. He'll he'll it might fall short. So let's see what it does. If it does, let me see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 10 20 30. it looks like they're 30 yards away nah well now it's 50 from where you said you were throwing it 10 oh. 20 30 40 50 is this box well uh yeah i was gonna yeah i was gonna try to put it behind number nine you're right so it might fall short it might land right on number nine good let's see something uh that's even if i even if i hit them we don't know we will find out what if I roll a one and blow up one of the ships? <laughs> Weapon descriptions. 104. Wow, I'm in the wrong section completely. For all those viewers at home, I am using the wonderful, fantastic Galaxy Edition, which has everything. Ah, within a 50-foot radius. Okay, well, it says a grenade. Well, what's the range? Why don't they have that written down? 30 feet. 30 feet. 10. That's not very far. So I would just, I would get, I would land right in front of number nine. Well, yeah. Are they, are they, are they 30 feet from me? 10, 10, 20, 30. Yeah, I guess that would be, you said 40 yards. Oh. These are yards. Those are yards. These are 10 yards. That's here. Oh. Oh, uh, so then he wouldn't throw the grenade at this point. Uh, he would just <laughs> fire with his rifle. Yeah, that's going to be crazy. He's going to drop that right in his nose. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. just to let you know, it's a 50 foot radius for a concussion grenade. I mean, frag grenade. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, that might not be something you want that close so, to you. So, 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 so right, right. you can only, but he, but he can throw 30 yards. It's 50 Ten? feet. Can he throw 30 yards? I thought it was 30 feet. Oh, you can definitely throw something. It can't be 30 feet because you, you can't throw someone 30 feet and it blow up 50 feet. I know. 30. It doesn't make sense, does it? That doesn't sound like you, it's you wrong. Can, you can throw a football like 80 yards. You, you can? No, well, well, no. but Otis I mean, can. Strength. Otis can. <laughs> I'm trying to read that. That that doesn't really make sense, does it? No. A frag grenade is to do within a 50 foot radius. Yeah. Well, that'd be 25 feet. Well, if 20, 50 foot radius, you're right. But then the the weight, the range. Oh, they're talking. About maybe the well, no. That talks about how far they can go, right? Well, that would make no sense. 30 foot's the range, but 50 foot's the blast. Unless you're behind something, I guess is the idea. Uh, oh, that's probably what the deal is. Does that make sense? I guess these things are pretty big. You have to be behind something to block it. Obviously, you're out in the middle of sand, so that's not going to work. 30 feet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you have to be behind an object to avoid the blast of a frag grenade. Okay. No, oh, I didn't know that until we looked it up. I was trying. I didn't either. Yeah, you were saying like 50. I was like, that's 150 feet. I don't yeah. think the throw's not 150 feet. But then, uh, okay, it's now stronger. we know that. That might change the game plan. So who's he it shooting is. at? Well, then then he's just going to shoot at number nine. Nine. Okay, good. Fire. Fire at will. 
Big old miss, too. This is gonna what? suck. This is bad, Mike. Roll this two. is bad. Are you even gonna get to the ship? <laughs> I don't I don't I don't I don't think we are. All right. Um, Who's next? <laughs> this is bad. There's nine of twelve of them. But okay, well then I guess Jimmy will fire with his uh laser pistol. Jeez. Yeah. He's just gonna get two shots and it's just plus two. All right. So two shots. Oh, a natural 20 and a 15. So Okay. Natural 20. We're gonna do max damage on on right. um unless you would do uh roll for damage times two. Either one doesn't matter to me. Um doesn't matter to me. Um he it uh, the it is it is one d six plus two, so that would be eight points of damage is max. So if that was double why don't you roll one d six and see if it's more than that? The minimum will be eight. Well, six plus two, eight times two. Yeah. 16. 16. And then the other one. 16 on seven. All right. Boom. What was it? Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, and what was and it? Then, the other was a 15 plus two, right? That hit. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, another six. Damn. It's another eight. Okay. That thing's down. He's oh, killed nice. seven. All right. Oh, you can describe great. it if you want. Oh, I uh, just. Uh, <laughs> the. Um, the Brimling is, uh, well, supposed to be my expert shot, misses completely. Otis misses completely. And um, Jimmy the Pike, who uh, barely knows how to hold a gun, <laughs> but just blows the head off the thing. <laughs> oh, good luck. Um, all right. <laughs> hey, it's look at the draw, right? That's all, right it is. all right. So then uh, now Hope, um, Hope with her laser pistol. No, her laser internal laser. She gets two shots, but it's a she has a plus three, so she's gonna fire twice onto um, number eight. Okay. Sixteen's um, gonna hit. Yeah, the other one's not. So four plus two is six. On uh, number eight. Okay. Number eight. Six. Okay. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, trying to wipe out. All right. Cool. So. Uh, and I and, and and at this point, I mean, Otis is going to be facing the the group to the south, and everybody else is going to turn and face the group to the north. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. This is going to be weird, but just pay attention. Yeah. Right. The back line completely disappears into the ground. Gotcha. These guys are going to advance. They would probably be able to double their speed. And this is 10, 20, 30, 30 yards times three. It's 90 feet. So they'll probably move up to here. So it'd be eight, nine, and 10 would be here. But then yeah. the next move, these guys would definitely be on top of you. Three and four would be here. And the rest of these will disappear into the sand. Okay. Okay. These two are going to be able to make an attack. I'm just warning you right now. So um, the first one is three, and he will definitely try attacking. Um, hmm. He's definitely going to try to attack um, Jimmy, who just shot. So four. No, I'm sorry. Am I doing four first? Let me do three first. First, I guess I'd be Otis. I guess that would be from behind. Um, okay. He's just going to attack him from behind. So. That's going to be, well, 1d20 plus 6. 16? What's his armor class? Uh, that would be hit because I think his armor class is 16. Oh, God. 1d6. So he gets 6 plus 2. So he runs up and bites him. Oh, wow. Doing three hill hit points worth of damage. Okay. All right. Survivable. Well, Otis. Right? Okay. All right. So he comes out and takes a bite. And then the other one looking at the way this thing's set up. It's going to go for Jimmy, right? Yeah. Straight from behind. Uh, actually, it's not from behind. You're facing him, right? Yeah. So he's going to run and take, try to take a bite of him. 18, that's definitely going to hit. That's going to hit. That's 1d6 plus 5 plus 2, 7. 7. Ooh. Jimmy Pike just lost a third of his hit points. Uh, this th these things are very, very mean. Yes. Let's see. The other one, these guys are not going to be engaged in the battle. All right. Well, for initiative. All right. Flamethrower would be good right now. I'm just kidding. It would be great. Six. You got it. I got a three. Okay. Now, uh, 
I guess these guys are going to be actually moved to attacking position. Okay. Eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so they're going to be on eight. God, come on now. All right. Here we go. Let's be nice. Eight, nine, and ten. Okay. So eight's going to try to shock hope. Okay. So uh, this is going to be weird. Plus six on this. Eight plus six is 14. Uh, for hope, I don't even know what armor class is. Yeah, that would that would hit. That's oh, yeah, she's okay. She's, All she's right. So I actually have to go to the dice roller for this next thing. Sorry, I had to go here because it's three d four with the damage. Oops. Let's see what happens. <coughs> Nine hit points with the damage on hope. Oh, good God! He shocked. He shocked the hell out of her. Nine hit points, so that means she's down to 16. Oh my god, right? Yeah, All right. Because, yep, that would be 16. All right, um, nine is on pepper. All right, I guess you got to do the old run like hell coming up here. Six, 12. I don't think that hits him. No, no. that misses him. He's fine. Next one would be uh, 10 on Jimmy. Okay. Natural 20. Eight hit points with the damage on Jimmy. Oh, how many? Eight. Eight. 26 right. plus two for the bite, unless I was going to do a shock. You don't want to get shocked. Eight. I got you. Okay. I well, know. then can you now uh, roll a 1d6 and add one? Why? What's that do? Because he's wearing two. an energy cloak. So, ah, so, so what's that do? Got shocked three points. I forgot on the other one. He's immune to shock. Oh, then he doesn't. Then nothing happens no. to him. No, he's, no, because they're they 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 live off shocks. They live off shock. <laughs> so yeah, <he actually laughs> the, the one time he gets somewhere, the yeah, body, use it. Use it. Oh my god, he's right. used to immune to it. Maybe this will confuse them. You know, like uh, it's just like I just thought about it for one second. I was like, are you, you know, I say a really cool thing. It's not gonna work. Yeah, no, uh, it's not gonna work at all. Uh, what the hell? Okay, he's got the other guy from the top though. Yeah. Well, three's gonna go for Otis, so let's do three on Otis. Ready? Yeah. One, two, 12 plus six, 18. That's about oh, that. Hit. That'll hit six plus two is eight. Eight on Otis. All right, so we're down to 26 there. Wow, okay. Unfortunately, I'm nerfing these guys a little bit, but that's okay. Well, we're. <laughs> I pulled them back a little bit. Just, just a little like, bit. I'm just saying, just a little. They're kind of, and uh, four is still going for Jimmy. Obviously, yeah. he's still on the back thing. Yeah. You need a low roll here, Mike. There you go. He's missed. All right. All okay. right there you, now you guys can decide what you want to do. All There's right. no problem with running into the Caruso and not engaging in the fight, but you do what you want. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Um. Well. Whatever you like. <laughs> okay. No, no, yeah. So so what's gonna happen is yes, we are all going to run like hell for the Caruso. Mm -hmm. And Otis is going to um let everybody else run past him. Okay. And he's going to throw a frag grenade. Okay. All right. So you know, I don't do attack opportunities. It's just something that yeah. really annoys me. So I'm not doing that to you, right? So yeah. we're gonna let these cats go in, right? So we're gonna let yeah. HP and Jay's gonna slip by, right? This yeah. is your turn, right? So you yeah. guys are avoiding the fight, okay? Yeah. And so Otis is gonna be sitting in the back here, and he's gonna toss a frag grenade right in the middle of, of him. Okay, is he shielding himself? Because he's gonna get touched by this. He is not. He is. Yeah. I mean, he's running, and he and he and he's 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 gonna try to jump into the ship. But yeah, he might get. Hit with well, let's look at let's look at the what you call Crusoe deck plan. Yeah, it's just an open hallway. Yeah, yeah, we're just they're they're just running as fast as they can into the hallway. So I'm gonna let he gets to do a saving throw. We're gonna do okay. a saving throw. Okay, so that's that's how we're gonna adjudicate it. Okay, so if he he passes his save, then he takes half of whatever this grenade's gonna do. Okay, all right. So let's let's see what he does to these guys. Go ahead. What, what how much damage does this thing do? A frag grenade? 
the the frag grenade it's not as much as you as you as you think um if i'm not mistaken frag grenade is only going to do 2d6 plus two the con connect the concussion grenade does 3d6 plus two um, and an ion well, grenade does 5d6 if it, if they're electrical but did you have an ion grenade i do okay then he'll toss that he'll toss a he'll toss an ion grenade okay i would yeah yeah, that I mean, come on, these, are, these are electricity dudes. Yeah, man. Yeah, 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 I'm, trying, yeah. I'm trying to give you a layup here. <laughs> yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, yeah. He'll toss so, the iron grenade. So let's let's do the easy roll. He's got to hit the roll for the center of the target to see if he gets them all. So yeah. if he does it, then we'll figure out how many hills. So, so give me a roll and see how. All right, he's going to get them all. He's nice. going to drop it right in the center. And now let's go. Let's do the five d six and see how much damage he's going to put on these things. Because I guess. Ooh, oh, nice. Yeah. What you got here? That would be 26. Yeah, he's going to drop all these bugs. Unfortunately, he's going to take 1d6 worth of damage on this thing. But I don't think there's anything that could shield him what's going to hit him. So, yeah. Uh, looking the way it is, because it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's not a fragment. So, yeah. he'll take one whole hit point worth of damage. That was worth it. Definitely worth it. He'll, he'll take that all day long. <laughs> all day long. <laughs> So he's down to 25. He took out. You want to explain? Because you took them all out just then. Oh, yeah. He just be he basically he howled at the moon. And um he told you know, and, and we're running, we're running, you know, you quit yelling at us. And he threw it this iron grenade up at straight up in the air as far as he could, and he mm -hmm. was bolting towards the thing, and he didn't get there in time. But when it landed, big ion grenade came out and just went through all the course through all all these beings i don't know if it hurt anybody else that's underneath the sand don't know don't care um but he's <laughs> just his back and he just then he, he caught a little bit of the charge as he fell into the caruso he stumbled in nice and we're all sweating and panting and licking our wounds right there in the entryway oh god <laughs> i like that let's go back let's refresh uh, let's drop a line on here where's my how come my picture won't work? Come on. I can't draw on this. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. I don't need to draw. I can just explain what's going on. All right. Yeah, um, yeah this is the layout. It's kind of, uh, yeah. you're in the access hall. So a fine yeah. layer of sand covers the floor of this hallway. Three doors are set into the wall along the right side of the quarter and two along the left. And yeah. one lies at the very far end. It gives you kind of a general layout. Hope scanned it, I guess, from where she was. So she kind of has an idea of where everything. That's why you're seeing what you're seeing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and 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 hope would know that where the data is, right? She would think it's a number seven. I guess that's the assumption. Uh yeah, you would assume, right? I guess, yeah. Um, but what is but uh, but I mean from the readout, well, I guess I don't know. Um number six, that room looks pretty important too. Um well as we we only got a few more minutes before we all die. So, um, <laughs> so what a bum roll. I mean, it's well, like, yeah, yeah. Well, we're, well, we're going to open up the door to number six and look in what's in there. Uh, it's an infirmary. It's an infirmary. Okay. We're going to keep on going to seven. It has, uh, a desk control, a medical vat stands in the corner. A med kit dispenser hangs on the, the wall near the door. Um, Jimmy's going to grab one of the med kits and keep okay. on moving. Okay. So he's got a med kit. Is he yeah. using it or is he going to no, take time no, to use it? No, no. We're not even taking time to use the med kit. We just, okay. we just, he has another med kit now. I think he has, he, he has one on him. So now he has two. Okay. All right, cool. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That's so all where we, are you going? We just, we're going to, we're going to open up the door to number seven. All right. All right. Uh, three corpses sit relatively upright before the four computer count consoles in this room. Still head fast by their chair safety harnesses, the consoles were badly damaged in the crash. Luckily, the two massive data storage units that stand near the room center appear to still be intact. Those the uh, data we, units you see right there. Yeah, we're going to um, we're going to hit those um, those. Well, we're going to go there and. Um, Hope's going to download all the data that she can into her uh, recording stick. Well, her system. She has a recording stick too. Uh, so these are things you have to actually extract the actual. 
Oh, we have to take the, oh, we have to carry them out. Pull those things out. Yeah. Yeah. The data cores. Well, we're, we're going to pull them out. Carefully. Uh, You need a special extraction tool, which is actually not here. Oh, all right. I, we ask, um, hope, where would the extraction tool be? She's going to do a scan of the ship to see where the. Uh, extraction tool would be you want to give it a roll but it'd be really really almost impossible to figure that out but go ahead try it impossible no she does no, she has no idea time there. no it's probably in some room yeah. somewhere it's yeah. like one of those things yeah it's gonna be a bad search for this thing we um okay um hope explains what what it looks like and um since we don't have that much time, um, Hope and Jimmy are going to go forward into I looks like the bridge number eight to look for it. Okay. And Otis and uh, Pepper are going to go back to um, that storage facility number five and see if they can find it. Okay. The bridge itself, uh, it's a two-story bridge. Wires and pipes are visible to the walls and ceilings where panels broke away during the crash. Here in the lower section, one corpse sits fastened into its chair safety harness before one of the four councils. Three of the corpses were piled on the stairs that run along the walls to the right of the bridge, okay? Right. Um, as though they're trying to get up to the captain's bridge prior to the crash. Or it could be possible they were thrown around during impact. They have badges on, like what says Captain Ostrom, the pilot says Illig, Navigator Wilkins, all right? Yeah. So they have like things on there. Um, we are going to, um, what has a broken high powered laser rifle? We, we're going to look for, um, like the engineer, does the engineer have this tool on, on them? Uh, looking around, it doesn't seem like anybody, um, there's somebody with the bad says engineer. No one says engineer. All right. Um, and we're and we can't see this tool anywhere in this oh, um, room. Looking, it's not in this room. No, looking yeah. all around, you do not see it anywhere in here. All right, we um we we head back into room number seven, shut the door behind us. Okay. Um, then going to the other team, did, the storage um, room itself, number five. Um, yeah. Just has crates and cylinders in there. Um, uh, one of the crate is broken, and there's a bunch of snack chips all over the floor. Oh, that's not good. Like something is eating the snack chips. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, we look up the ceiling immediately. <laughs> it's an alien. No, you don't see anything. No, there's nothing there. All right. Um, okay. Um, we uh, we on our comms tell Jimmy and Hope there's a critter running around in here somewhere. Okay. Um, but there's there's not the the devices in, in here anymore. Well, no. we're, we're, everybody meets up into um, the corridor number one. We okay. get out of that room, and um, as a team, um, we're going to start searching rooms two, three, and four. Um, uh, there's a plaque on the door of number two that says Doctor Perix. There's a uh, one on. Um, room number three called dr nod and the last one's dr vashnik is number four so so they're all doctors all right um well um we're gonna stay together and um we're gonna actually just move through we're gonna go from four down to three to two so we're gonna do four first okay we go to four uh, it's just a crew's living quarters. There's a pod like bed. It's kind of like a cryo sleep chamber. Obviously it's not powered. Nothing's working here. Right. Uh, vacuum wardrobe, different things like that. Um, uh, looking around, you find nothing that apparently looks like anything. It was like an extraction tool. It has to have a certain fitting that kind of goes into a kind of like a ratcheting system yeah. to pull thing out. Nothing looks anywhere near it. All right. So yeah, we're going to move to room number three. Uh, when you go into through three, that's Dr. Nod's room. Um, same kind of setup. Okay. Right. There is a cactus like plant with a shattered pot. Um, and there's a nightstand that has a empty bottle of scotch. Oh, that sounds uh, like with, our guy with glasses in it. And it looks like it's been consumed. And 
there is um there is the actual retrieval tool oh we're going to take the retrieval tool um and is there any an, any liquid left in the scotch bottle just a little bit yeah all right well um uh pepper's going to grab it and um then um we're going to go to back to the uh uh room number 7 okay uh when you get close to the doorway when you open the door yeah. you see a, a man standing there with a pistol okay um you want to roll for initiative or do you want me just to have the brimling shoot him <laughs> i guess we should roll for initiative I, you went right to the gun that's just so mike yeah, all right, all right. Let's, just, let's just do this initiative thing i rolled a six i rolled a five so 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 you got it okay so, so i don't so, know what the, so, what would have been the order of this situation Who would well have the first? well the brimling would have gone first but you have the initiative so if this guy wants to talk he can talk i mean all right so the guy turns around and he says uh he says i can give you very valuable stuff if you get me off this rock um jimmy puts his hand on um pepper's pistol and says deal let's go we got right. limited time so he sees you with the extraction tool and he yeah. goes uh can i see that for one second no but you can help us unload the stuff let's go you don't want to just put that in without doing something first or you'll basically delete all the data out of the course oh. all right um this is where jimmy's going to he is going to try his silver tongue <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jimmy's got Jimmy's got to do something. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Jimmy's ahead. Jimmy's gonna say, um, Jimmy say, you know, uh, partner, there's um only one ship that's gonna get you off this planet, and that's us. And so um we need to be very honest with one another right now and uh not try to lie to a liar. Um so uh are we gonna be working together on this or am i gonna feed you to the wolfling he says well do you want me to do a saving throw are you charming the dude is that yeah, what you're doing yeah okay so I gotta, I gotta do a savior okay right so he's gonna do the roll here wait let's say one d20 ah oh, horrible fail oh aren't you lucky all right he turns on he <laughs> says says you're right you are the only one that's gonna get me out of here yes yes uh so but uh, i'm telling you right now you could take the tool you could do it yourself but don't unfasten that bolt without first fastening the one on the bridge first. Gotcha. Well, you I gotta, tell you, you what, gotta you have to disconnect the power from the bridge to the data cores. If not, if you just try to pull them out, they will disrupt, and basically all the data is deleted. Um. So hope is going to. Um, I'm going to tell this guy. Well, what's your what's your name, by the way? My name's uh, Doctor Nod. Doctor Nod. Um. My name's Jimmy. Um, and uh, and uh, who drank the rest of my scotch? Uh, I heard somebody picking up my bottle in there. Um, Pepper hands it to him and says, I thought I could uh, create a nice meal with it. But here you no. go. When we, when we get on the ship, we got some more scotch for you. Um, so, so, yeah, the guy, he's got like beard. He's like been yeah. living on this ship yeah. all by himself. Oh, gotcha. eating bags of chips and stuff. He's not doing well here, you know? So <laughs> let the man have his booze. You know? so I got, see yeah, right yeah, we, we give him his booze. So um, Jimmy's going to send Dr. Nod with um, Hope and uh, Otis to the front. So okay. we can show them exactly where to put it. So sure enough, there's an area, one of the control panels, that has yeah. this thing that actually looks exactly like the tool for unfastening the, the course. Yeah. So he turns around, you got to put it in there and you got to turn it twice clockwise. It's going to disengage the power units back there. They're on this really like long, long-term lithium battery to stay charged. But if you were to try to extract them before doing that, it would do a total stack discharge and, and basically delete all the data. Does it's this, a fail safe. So they're just not stolen. Does this make but, sense to hope? Probably does. Uh, it probably does. Yeah. Okay. So, right. so hope, so hope's going to do exactly, you know, what he, how he explains it and she, okay. she does it. Right. And then and sure enough, if he unfastens it, everything's fine. Okay. Yeah. And then he takes you back over to the cores. All right. Yeah. 
Yeah. And so uh, he says, okay, now first you got to unfasten this one. There's two points you got to show you one at the ground, which was really obvious. And there's one higher up. So you got to disconnect the top one before you disconnect the bottom one. And he's trying to explain Excellent. why you're doing this. And obviously it doesn't take a lot to explain, but he's a doctor. So he can't. Yeah. It's very pedantic, right? We're, so we're running out of time here, buddy. We got to, we got to, yeah. we got to move on. We got to. So, so he pulled one of the cords out. It's totally fine. And it's yeah. an oblong object. Like it's, yeah. I guess maybe about four feet long. It's a cylinder and it's got like a bunch of, it's like a bunch of data in it. But, yeah. and then they take the other one out the same way. They seem both secure now. Okay. So he goes, all right, so where's your ship? Uh, 40 uh, yards that way. Can, um, but can, can Otis carry both of these him, himself? Do you, uh, you want the big wolf to carry it? That's fine. I don't, I don't care. I, I mean, I was just trying to help. He goes, no, how are no, we going to no. get past the, 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 the shock bugs out there? How are we going to get um, past those things? Cause there's a bunch out there. We have a, we have, we have a plan for that. All right. So, um, um, as Otis is carrying these things, he's going to hand his, um, two ion grenades to, um, uh, his last two iron grenades to Pepper, because Pepper's pretty good at throwing crap. Um, all right, and um, those forty are okay. So we're going to run down number one. Okay. Now, as we're getting to that, um, okay. So there's forty. Okay. So. We, I want, I want Hope to scan for life again. Oh, there's another ship. Great, wonderful. Okay, yeah. So there's another object out there. Yeah. Right when you get down here to the thing, you see this other thing sitting out there. Yeah. Great. <laughs> this is actually part of this module. So, yeah, yeah, no, I, yeah. so I'm saying, I we'll see how this works out for you. No, no. This is this is this is this is this is this is, this is all good. This is this is great. More okay. more bodies, the better. Okay. Um, so Hope's going to do a scan once we once we are on that precipice. Yes. All right. Go so ahead. you may roll. Roll for scan. Two. Right. Oh my God. Yeah. <clears throat> Not good. Why is she so bad at this? What was She's, she scanning for? She was just scanning for life. Okay. Well, well the you, sixty feet life. She okay. Can, well, I guess she can always scan for sixty feet life, but I guess I don't know what the thing. But what, yeah. But she can also like okay. All right, that's cool. All right, let's do this. All right, so in scanning, you see nothing. Either they're in the sand and they're not yeah. being able to be scanned because of whatever reason. Yeah, you can't detect them. Okay, we are going to, and maybe the ion grenade um, freaked them out. We're going to make a run for the back of the of the sh of the ship, but um, Pepper's got an ion grenade just ready to throw in any direction that there they're at okay pepper's got one all right yeah well pepper's got two but he's playing. so as you get to about here yeah okay okay the the top council of this thing flips open uh, i like to flip back all right and this guy with a weird looking hat i kid you not it's part of this thing so uh it goes by the name of nevis Yells out there, what are you doing with my data core? Uh, um, yours is still in there. This one's ours. <laughs> and uh, Mike, did you hear this? Barely. Oh, that's the time. And the storm starts to kick up. At this point in time, you start seeing the wind starting to rise. Uh, I don't know if there's an east on this planet, but they're coming from some direction. Yeah. The entire time you see this happening. And can we <laughs> can we make so, it to the back of the ship at least? The back of the ship? Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. We're going to do this. Wait. Oh, second. So Nevis is here. He's upset. You he can't even scan his ship in this amount of time. Yeah. I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to play fair game here. We're going to... Yeah. Uh, you're, you're, everybody on your team has to make a saving throw and see okay. what happens because these bugs are going to come out of the ground. Yeah. If they come out, they're just going to grab them. I got you. So if they save, they're on the ship. If not, they're captured and yeah. being fought with these. 
fucks in the city. <laughs> Whoa. 40 minutes was hard, man. But go ahead. Yeah. We yeah. did it in real time. DNT yeah, in real time. I never heard of it before, but let's go okay. ahead and do this. But so wait. Like, we're just going to go down the list. Uh, Jimmy, this is this is Jimmy's role. Okay. I think yeah. Jimmy's got to beat a nine. He's got to beat a nine. Did not. <laughs> Jimmy's toast. <laughs> Otis, Otis has to beat an eight. Otis. Otis did. He's going to make it. All right, cool. All right. Um, Pepper's got to beat. Oh, Pepper only has to beat um, a seven, but also he has a plus two versus environmental hazard. So I don't know. If this that's is environmental says. hazard, I would say, right? So he, so he just has to beat a five. He, has to be, he did. Okay, he's fine. All right. And um, Hope, if I'm not mistaken, Hope's is nine. Yeah. Everybody right, okay. did it, but Jimmy. Jimmy is... He's got one of these things on him, and uh, we're gonna have to. Uh, yeah, this this thing's gonna do horrible, shocking damage to him. Hopefully, he. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't even know what his hit points are right now, but. Oh, he didn't heal up. Uh, so that's five. five. All right. Um, fifteen he, plus five. Twenty. He's at one hit point. Yeah, he's out. Yeah, he's at. He's at. He's at. He's at. He's at one. So I don't know how you guys wanna. And obviously, this guy has taken his ship. If you did a uh, basically looking at the ship scans, he has a, a laser locked onto your ship, and he's going to fire. And the time it takes you to get to the cockpit, he's eventually going to have to get fire off on you. Yeah. So uh, here it comes. He's going to blast at you. Uh, you guys are sitting ducks. It's not like this will be that hard to shoot. I don't think. Let's see what's going to happen here. Oh my God, you suck. Okay, it must be. Um, static or something like that yeah. totally the ship is missing uh there is another ship on the horizon yeah great <laughs> this, this book is horrible this yeah. is where it gets horrible yeah. look at this oh there this is. is where it gets I, horrible here wait look at this last yeah. page look at oh, this oh oh <laughs> lovely okay geez. it just gets bad yes a boreas gunship comes right over the top oh that's great yeah, um, I don't understand what they expected people. They're not going to survive this thing. All right. So, um, and there's another ship on the other side. Everybody's coming for these data cores. Yeah. The one, there's one person that hails you guys on the screen that says his name is Renan. He's a pirate, space pirate. Yeah, he Renan, wants the data I core. I don't have time for you right now, buddy, Renan. <laughs> um, another guy comes over. And this, of course, is uh, you got your Boreas, giant Boreas gunship. All right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you could just take a look at the size of this thing. It's got all the oh, guns it's huge. and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's gonna it's absolutely huge. All yeah, right, it says, so, it's um, coming. They're they're all, it's the whole place is all cluttered now, and you, you're on the star bolt. So yeah, well, well, no, but here's a here's my question. Got to get like, Jimmy. But did Doctor Nod, um, did Doctor Nod make it? I don't know. Let me roll. Yeah. Okay. So now here's the question. Um. So so they all got to the ship, but Jimmy didn't. Jimmy did not get to the ship. No. Okay. Um. So can we um the pilot's going to jump in the chair and I'm gonna okay. move the ship back a couple, you know, right next to Jimmy. Okay. And I'm gonna have see if Otis can pull Jimmy up into the ship. Pull Jimmy up. All right, yeah. roll a uh a saving throw. For Jimmy? For Jimmy. Oh yeah, he made it. Okay, so yeah, he's holding on. This whole thing's going kind of haywire. Um, yeah, it's kind of a mess. The clouds obviously have swarming the yep. planet. Yeah. Uh, your ship is going to take damage. Oh yeah. Okay, wait here. I think everybody's ship's going to take damage in a second. Everybody's ship's going to take damage. Yeah. 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 Um, this thing's locked up on you. They're all kind of like. <laughs> You got the prize and they want it. Yep. <laughs> this is what they do. All right. So uh, everyone's doing, uh, does this, do they have saving throws on the ship? No, they don't do they? But I'm going to, um, I'm going to add plus two to my AC for these things firing on me. Okay. That's a AC of 14. So he'll be fine. Let's see. Okay. Let's do the cruise up first. Okay. It's, I guess just this straight out dust roll right uh the gunship's fine let's take a look at um nevis's ship it's a scan he has an ac of 14 let's see what happens this thing gets hit 
Uh, if he gets hit, he'll be. This is going to be devastating. Let's see something. That was four. It doesn't hit him. Renan ship. Let's see his scan. Um, Renan has an AC of thirteen. Let's see if it hits him. Oops, go back up. Oh, it's not going to him. Now, Renan is now yelling at you. He says, I finally caught up with you, with you, I finally caught up with you, flog mockers. All right. And he sends oh. an image over to your ship. He sends this image over to your ship. And he goes, you I want him? your ship. <laughs> we remember you. Because <laughs> I want that star bolt. And he's like really, really mad about it, right? Yeah. Obviously, right? Yeah. So he's like flipping out, swearing at you, okay? Yeah. The entire time this is going on. You're getting hailed by the Void Knight at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's where you are with this. Okay. Um, so, we Void have Knight a reactor here. problem. Yeah, we have a reactor problem. Sorry, we can't. <laughs> he says, um, basically, straight up, he says, uh, uh, Prepare your ship to be docked. He says, lift up out of the atmosphere and pre prepare to be docked. Um, so at this point, do we have everybody on the ship? Yeah, I guess everybody is on okay. your ship right now. So okay. listen, if, if I went back to the planet, let's just go to the planet real quick. Yeah. To, to give you a, a nice little... So if you had scanned the planet, you would have seen this, but you didn't see yeah. this, but we're putting that yeah. here. All right. So hopefully I don't understand why I can't get oh there is right there. Okay, cool. So if you can imagine, um, here's the Starbolt. Okay. Yeah. Here's and the, obviously you have the Boreas gunship, yeah. Nevis's ship, and then you have this pirate called Renan. They're all like wanting something off of you because you've yeah. made enemies across the galaxy at this point. Yeah. Well, this guy you don't know, but somehow neck this guy, um Nevis, he's somehow affiliated with new energy. And he wants it. He's yeah. a nut. Okay. So he's 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 going on and on saying he works for new energy. This is his this was his project he created. He says, I've been watching it for years. That's my data. You give it to me now. He's gonna blast guns. And then obviously Renan's a space pirate wanting the star bolt. And obviously yeah. the Boreas gunship uh Pepper is asking wants Jimmy what 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 does Jimmy want him to do? And He's telling Pepper, um, run like hell. And Jimmy's going to go and um, get uh, get his med kit um, and heal up. Um, so Jimmy's Jimmy's healing up. Okay, give yeah. him a 1D6 roll. Let's see what he does here. Go ahead. Let's, Ooh, six. Okay. Oh, wow. He's got the big old six plus one, seven, eight. So, so, he's, so he's up to eight. Okay, cool. Hit points, nice. And he's down. That's that's the med kit that he grabbed off of the thing. So he only has one more. All yeah. right. Um, so now, now, now they're going to, uh, they're uh, obviously the Boreas gunship is the biggest one. It's telling yeah. you to to prepare for docking. It has all its guns on you, though. Just warning. I you. understand. Uh, what 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 what? Um, so what Pepper is going to do is Pepper is going to fly. So one of the other two ships is in between him and the Boreas gunship. And I'm adding the plus two to AC, but I'm going to keep one of those other ships in be in, be in between us. So if it tries firing on me, it's going to hit one of those other things. All right. So uh, let's make this a skilled navigational role for you. Yeah. All right. What's it take to get that? Uh, for, Pepper? I guess it'd be, either be, pi I guess it'd be piloting at that point. Yeah. He'd be piloting that. Yeah, I don't to make I'm, sure he kind of stays out of, I guess, in between. What yeah. would be a what's his pilot chances? Um, I don't uh, I I've got Larceny navigation tech and knowledge. I mean piloting who the, I thought he's the pilot. He is a pilot, but there is no skill called pilot. It's called navigation. There's no piloting skill. Oh, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well then what's his thing? Space ace. Oh, uh, oh, space ace is just plus two initiative flying the comp. So he has the plus two when the and then you can add two to. There's no piloting skill in the game, which is kind of odd. There's navigation and there's tech. Oh, that's kind of interesting, isn't it? Isn't it interesting? 
I didn't really notice that. You just said something. Yeah, I mean, now uh, you could. What's even weirder is a bag of fingers. What the yeah, heck? he does. Why? He does have a bag of fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I was okay until I saw that. Let's do the initiative. All right. Well, then we're going to do the initiative roll. Yeah. And so they're basically you're going to have to outmaneuver the ship. Okay, I get a plus two to this. You get a plus two. I got a seven. Okay, let's see what he gets. They got a one, so you're going to be able to outmaneuver them. And now at this point, um, see where it gets a little honky. So you're going to try to wedge yourself between two ships. Looking. Yeah, at I'm going. I'm going to basically. What happened um, to my drawing? Th they are going oh, to. Man. Oh I'm no, gonna... it's on the planet. Oh, is yeah. it? Oh no, what did I do with it? I clicked another button and it went away. Oh man. Well, that's horrible. Okay, let's go back. Okay, let's go back to the P scan. I'll put it back up there. Okay, so this is where the Caruso was. Yeah. This you were supposed to get a scan like this, and it didn't work out. So what happens? I was trying to give you a scan like this, and you had to pick mm -hmm. one of the three objects. That was the Boreas ship. That was that, and that was the thing. Which one you picked? No. Oh, determine gotcha. what you would run into first. But I just let you fly to you found. So let's do this. Yeah. So the storm is acting like a wonkers. So yeah. we'll put you starbolt in the center. Uh, Boreas is here. I don't know what was where. Renan was here, and Nevis is here. Okay, mm -hmm. so I. What was your game plan? You're going to try game, to move behind now here. The, now the game plan is, um, the. I'm going to first um, fly behind Renner, so the Boreas gunship. Sh okay. They shoot. They're going to shoot at. They have to get through Renner to get to me. Okay. And then hope at this point is planning a, a navigational route. Cause I think I've got, if this is the same ship I was on before, I got to stick around for a little while before I can jump. Yeah. And I could do that funky jump and I'm the planning it jump. and I'm going to do that funky jump. And right. Get the hell out of here. Let's see. Uh, let's see if Renner survives the all out assault of a gunship because it's got a lot of guns. Yeah. One, two, three. So he's got a lot going on. All right. So, uh, okay. He's going to fire it. First is the proton torpedoes. This is going to be yeah. crazy, right? Two shots of proton torpedoes, right? One. Wait, got to do this. Uh, I don't believe that is going to hit that one ship. All right. So proton torpedo suit by it doesn't hit Renner, right? Yep. And then the next one, of course, would be laser cannons times eight forty-six. Oh <laughs> He's gonna shred this guy. That, okay, times eight. Oh my god. You you want it, you want the ship runner. You gotta protect it. Times eight. Oh my god, this is gonna be crazy. So this guy's wedged between you, which is probably the smartest move you can make. Let's do eight. He's got to hit a 14. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Five. Six. Yeah, five. Six. Right. five. 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 If I'm not mistaken, it's five times. It's 20 D6. Five times? Five oh times my. 46 is 20 D6. Oh, my God. Let's see if his ship is still standing after this. Oh, we'll see. This will be fun. I just want to see how much damage he's going to take on this round. Hit it. 74. His ship's out of commission. And it's falling into that ion storm. <laughs> you crushed the guy's ship. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is so horrible. I can't believe you just did this. Do you even know this guy? Oh, Who does um, such a thing? This is the guy that you screwed over last time, right? It's the Pepper, same thing, right? Pepper is cackling. Okay, wait. <laughs> I gotta to go being a marine. I gotta see whether or not you destroyed the guy's ship. What was I? Gonna, this is Renner. All right. Well, you uh, Renan. Renan. Yeah. Ship scan. Let's do this. Sixty hit points. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> it's Swiss cheese, though. I. Uh, yeah, I think with the explosion and stuff. I. Uh, yeah, clearly they're not going to be able to. I guess I can put this out now. We don't have to look at that no more. Um. You're going to have, um, he has other things, but I think with the explosion, he won't be able to actually see past this. 
Yeah. Let's just let that, let's just let that be all that boorish gunship's going to do. Yeah. But the other ship's going to get you. Oh, sure. The other ship. Yeah. My, yeah, they, they saw me swoop around. I'm sure. Now, gonna, now remember, I'm an, I'm going to, I'm, I'm added two to my armor class. Adding two to the armor class. So he's going to fire two D6 layers. He says two times two D6. So let's see what happens here. So let's do this two times two D6. I guess I don't have to put nine. Let's go down to two. All right, here we go. Ready? Oh. I think those are both misses. I think they are. Yep. Because you're armor class 14, right? Um, you'd have to pull the stats up again. Um, okay, let's take a look. I think it's but I think it's effectively a 16 right now. That doesn't help you. Do I not have this plan? Oh my god, I didn't bring them up here. Yeah, I, I did. I don't I'll go get them. I do it. 12 EC par six. Um stats. AC yeah, 14. 14, so right now it's 16, right? I'm gonna just put that up here so I have it. Uh no, I don't want to hear 75. Uh bookmark bar, starbolt. So I know where it is. Starbolt. Okay, yeah, so yeah, star. That's good enough. Done. Right? Okay, cool. All right. So yeah. All right. He's fine right now. You have four light lasers. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's got that going on. So that guy missed. All right. So now we're into the second round. I guess we got to go for initiative. Um yeah, well, because that was my move, right? I moved behind yeah. him. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So what do you want to do here? Six. So oh, I man. Well, you get to go first. Plus I don't have to roll. Eight. All right. Yeah. Um, okay. So at this point, can I make a funky jump? Can I like to where those cats were? Like the um, the uh, <laughs> the cats. Remember, were... remember those those feline things <laughs> that were way off in space. I did those twelve parsec jumps. I'm just trying to to make a jump. Oh, you're just gonna jump? Yeah. Well, you better you better do a navigation roll. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's under pressure, so it's going to be really hard. Yeah. So yeah, you just don't want to end into an asteroid or something. Yeah, I got you. So we're <laughs> going to. So Hope's going to do a navigation roll. Okay. Oh my God. Oh, Jesus. Hope. Hope. Uh, Hope got a mild. If it's mild, she, we we passed. We did not. <laughs> this is just all luck. Uh, Oh, yeah. Oh my God. I, guys I said, jump. that's what I said when we we're doing. So we're going to do, I mean, we're jumping. Okay. So we're going to make, we're going to make a list. Okay. Number one. Yeah. You jump into the black hole. Okay. And it, the game is over. We are done. Right. Okay. Yeah. Two. <laughs> you, you crash. Into a asteroid, right? Okay. Which is basically gonna gonna do a lot of damage to the ship, yeah. like uh, around sixty six. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Possibly stranding you. All right, stranding yeah. you. Right. Number three. <laughs> yeah. You you go into a star. All right. Oh, great. And then you guys just burned to death. All right. Okay. Four, five, six. You weren't ready for the jump, and the whole thing, power thing, goes down, and you are now stuck there for at least, ow, oh, used to be an hour, right? It's like a six rounds of battle, which would be horrible. All right, yeah. so it's going to be six rounds of battle. Okay. So you got to roll a six-sided dice. Just don't roll one. A two is actually not too bad, but you'll be stranded. But, okay. But that's the only one that actually seems okay. All right, so the rest is pretty bad. Go ahead, roll it. D6. It's the end of three. I went into a star. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, did we yeah. survive the star? <laughs> Clip the wing. 
I could I could have done black hole yet up in another universe, kind of like a yeah. worm tube kind of thing. I, there's other things. Star is just death, man. Hey, should have should have had stealth that stealth thing that you wanted. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah, How did she roll a one? I mean, it would have been I four. I could adjudicate everything, but a one. Yeah. One's like, yeah. what the hell? Oh my yeah. god, woman! Yeah. Now she let you down. Like uh, she didn't. Yeah, I don't. Know, how many? How many rolls did she screw up? Honestly. Oh, you know the person that should have been the navigation should have been Pepper. But anyway, no, that's what I did. Um, because Pepper had the navigation skills. But she anyway, didn't have. She, even a she, one. A one with him would have been bad, right? A one with him would have been bad too. Yes, he had a. He had a. Yeah, you're right. But he had, he had bad. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Yep. Yeah. What would he a one with navigation? No, it would have been he would have died there too. It doesn't it matter. Yeah. There, it just wasn't in the role. It wasn't, it wasn't in the role. What was funny was like the uh the um those shock scares or whatever they mm -hmm. were, like you guys came out. Yeah. All right. They're much higher hit points than what I was. I was. I said oh. twenty apiece. They were like way bigger, and I was like, "Oh God, they're gonna get slaughtered." And the thing is, they're they're gonna outrun you. Yeah. <laughs> Just looking at the way they crazy. The guy. I mean, actually, I love all spodules. They're so much fun. You got to tweak them. You got. There's no way you can play it the way they are because there's no one's gonna survive. Well, but, I think um, if you if you rolled in with like a dozen different um, people, because then you expect like half your people to die. It's that's just, true. I guess yeah. then that's not fun. Everybody dies, right? Yeah. Four to six adventurers, level six to eight. I don't think mm. you know. You can't have a dozen guys doing this. But yeah. you're supposed to arrive there. There's supposed to be a pirate that shows up, and then we didn't really get into each room. I we were kind of rushing it because of the time because I oh, thought yeah, that made just... it a little more fun. I like that. But a boy knight's supposed to show up. I was oh, like, okay. why? And which doesn't make any sense. He's showing up, but uh. The way I have it set up is that he's part of the Galactic Consortium. Right. But he's supposed to come in with some mercenaries, and they're all high-powered. And he's supposed to eventually wipe you guys out. So I said, well, just the ship comes in. And obviously, he did a great maneuvering, get in the, get the other one in the way, and you shoot it out of the way. And then uh, the jump. If you had a jump, you would have been fine. It yeah, would have been yeah, like that. Yeah. Just one roll, you would have been out here, and that's yeah, it. Yeah, that was it. It was one roll away. Well, well, then also depending on where we landed. See, I was thinking if even if we made a successful jump, you might have gone back to like the twelve parsecs and said, "Okay, now roll a twelve sided die," and you know, roll, you know. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> no, I, that's correct. I could have done that, but no, I didn't. And, I just and see where you land. Yeah, I was trying to make it like you had like okay, you stalled. Yeah. Then I thought, well, maybe it's be kind of cool. Like you guys get captured. Oh Maybe. yeah, you get yeah. commandeered, and all of a sudden now you're a prisoner of the Galactic Consortium. Yeah, and they try to induct you, or whatever, or try whatever into like the regime. I don't know. Like, yeah. there's other ways this thing could have gone. Took you to the penal colony, put you on a just, penal transport. That could have been a totally different adventure. You guys are all locked up. I already have the the plans for a, a penal transport, trans uh, a, a transport, and you guys would have been on there and try to do like a prison break. I, oh, yeah. I, I had a bunch of ideas. This okay, yeah. game wasn't over. I kept saying, oh, this is going to go on to this because we're done with this part. I was like, well, what would be the next thing? So this oh, it's funny. stuck by a, a Boreas gunship is not all over. Yeah. I mean, you could have right. kept going with this thing oh, or I'm even the pirate taking the ship. Well, yeah, it's all fun. But yeah, there we go. That was brutal. What did we learn? <laughs> Stick around for the fight. Just don't roll a one. Just, just don't roll a one. Anything's better than a one. Oh my god! god. But I would have the black hole. I'd have put you in another dimension. I was stuck you almost like in a worm tube, stuck you somewhere else. Yeah. Well, and you still I could actually, do that. You could. I actually had to. What I could still do I'm that. Captured by a star somewhere. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, that would have been funny. Yeah. Well, let me think about. Let me think about what uh, I actually have a really really cool adventure that would yeah. be totally fun for you. Maybe maybe. Maybe let me let me rethink this. Maybe maybe the star is not your <laughs> ultimate design. We don't know. We just we're just we're just blacked out at this point. You guys are blacked out. You jumped and you don't know where you are. You don't know what happened to you. Yeah. Oh God, that's too funny. It could be worse. Not really. I think that was the end of it. I think that is the worst, right? Is that kind of it? That's kind of well, weird. Well, we're stuck with Dr. Nod on this damn ship. But anyway, all right. We'll see. Why are you stuck? 